Hey guys, so today we have the second mail day video for the channel. If you saw the first video, you'll know that I'm doing it a bit different than some of the other hockey card channels that I see, where I will be doing a voiceover and talking about the cards and the hobby while we go through the mail. I've decided going forward that I'll do a video for every 10 packages or so that I receive, so you're not going to just see a single card, but hopefully a few interesting ones. So today we're starting with a huge lot of young guns that I've been buying. I picked up this big lot. There's over 100 young guns in here from various years. Basically what I'm trying to do um, over the next few years or however long it takes is to collect all of the base sets and young guns from series 1 and 2, also including the updates from SP Authentic. So starting back from 2005-06 when I started collecting and then onwards until the present year. I already have all the full base sets for every year so I'm done those, but for the young guns I'm maybe 50% of the way there. Um, you figure that from 0506 to 1920 is 15 years, so 100 young guns per year is about 1500 young guns total, plus the updates. I probably have about 500 or 600 by now, but I have very few of the big ones, so I'm just trying to buy a lot of common young guns for now. Um, again, a lot like this, 100 or 200 of them at one time, for a cost of around $1 to 125 per young gun. And then once the commons are done, I'll start to try and get the bigger ones, like Crosby and McDavid. So from this lot, the big ones that I picked up were Tarasenko, Shifley, Zibanejad, and Nugent Hopkins. All those were valued at around $30 or more on eBay, and the rest were random guys. Don't really know exactly. I've also got another lot of cards I picked up from a local seller here, including more young guns from various years as well as a UD game jersey of Ed Balfour, a Sergei Bobrovsky SP game used, just a basic jersey, an MVP one-on-one -on -one jersey of Olth Kolzig and Mark Denis, and by the way, I do collect those MVP one-on-one -on -one jerseys from 0607 and 0708, a Fresh Threads Ice rookie jersey of Jonathan Bernier numbered out of 100, and a 1920 stature base card of Bobrovsky. And the other package also has a bunch more young guns, again, from all over the place and many different years. And then there's another set I'm collecting, the 0506 SP Game Use Rookies, this one of Peter Budai as well, numbered out of 999. So now on to the rest of the mail. Here's another new PC of mine that I started this year, Adam Werner. I do love goalies and I love the Avalanche and he did get a shutout in his first game uh, when he came in relief after about 30 seconds. I was watching that game and then he played one other game as well. So after that I figured, hey, seems like a cool goalie. I'm going to collect him. So we've got his 1920 SP Authentic Young Gun update and then his Young Gun exclusives numbered 46 out of 100. Still chasing down that high gloss. The next piece of mail is going to be for my McDonald's sets. I started collecting McDonald's in 0506 and then every year since then. And of course I also do the Tim Hortons sets as well from 1516 to the present day. It's always fun to look forward to do that and see their faces when you ask them to buy about three or 400 packs. I do look forward to collecting those sets every year and it's always fun to see the look on the workers' faces when you ask them for two or 300 packs. I do want to have a master set of each year, and I'm very close, I'm just missing a few of the rare insert sets for the McDonald's ones, and I have uh, pretty much all the Tim Hortons ones done I believe. So for this one I ordered a full set of the top scorers inserts from 0506, the full set of 15, as you can see on screen, and this was the hardest set to collect from that year. Now the final piece of mail is going to be a big Jonathan Bernier mail day, again he's one of my favorite goalies and one of my bigger PCs. One guy on eBay was selling a ton of his stuff for auction, so I went on a bidding spree and then copped all these nice cards. First up we have an 0708 Artifacts Rookie, numbered 51 out of 100. This must be the silver version. I know there's a regular one and a gold one. Then there's a beautiful 0708 The Cup Scripted Swatches patch of Bernier, numbered 14 out of 25 where he did sign on the silver jersey piece. Next up after that is an 0809 MVP one-on-one -on -one autograph of Bernier and Jack Johnson, a really nice card there. There's also another autograph, 0910 SP Game Use Dual Significance of Bernier and Johnson again, numbered 16 of 25. Next up from there is a 2010-11 private signings from Panini, but I'm not exactly sure which product they're from, as there were, they were pretty much inserted in all different products. And the last card in this pile is a beautiful 1112 Artifacts dual jersey and autograph. It is a sticker auto, but it's very low numbered, just 9 of 10. 
Now moving on to the next pile, we start with a beautiful 0708 OPG Premier Rookie Jersey card. And this is the Silver Spectrum version with two nice patches on the top, and the card is numbered 21 of 35. Next is another 0708 card, his Fleer Ultra Rookie Silver, numbered 74 out of 100. And finally, the last two cards are some of my favorite looking cards out there, those being the 0708 Fleer Hot Prospects Rookie Auto patches. So we have the regular silver version, 268 out of 399, and then the gold version as well, numbered just 22 of 25, so that one is much harder to find. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this mail day. Every 10 packages I will be doing a video just like this one going forward. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for your early support.